Currently scheduled will not be seen tonight. Stay tuned for the U.S. Gymnastics Championships presented by Reebok, followed by eyewitness video. Passage of time can act like a lens, adding clarity, perspective. It enables us to recognize the greatness that can go unnoticed today. In tiny Edmond, Oklahoma, a 16-year-old gymnast endures a grueling regimen. Strength found in a little girl's spirit, in a little girl's dream. To be Kathy Rigby, America's first sweetheart. Another. Mary Lou. Best in the world, like Kim Zemesko. How many other little girls will now dream of being like Shannon Miller, the most decorated international gymnast America has ever known? Tonight, she can become the first ever to win every event at the national championships. Lake City, Utah, home of the Delta Center, normally reserved for the Giants of the NBA. Instead, tonight, host the finest women gymnasts in the country. It's the 1993 U.S. Gymnastics Championship. And hi, everybody. I'm Dan Hicks, and we welcome you to this final night of competition, the all-around last night, but tonight a much different type of competition. It gives the finest gymnasts in the country the chance to really concentrate on what they do best. Now, how did they get here? Well, the top six women in each event, based on last Last night's optionals advance to tonight's individual event finals. And now let's bring in our expert commentator, Tim Daggett. What makes tonight's competition so much different from last night's all-around? Well, first of all, Dan, it's a very different mindset from the all-around competition. In the individual event finals, you'll have some athletes competing on one, two, maybe three different events. Each individual event is its own mini competition with a gold, silver, and bronze at stake. And, you know, in the all-around competition, everybody basically knew that if Shannon Miller didn't make a mistake, she was going to come out on top. Not necessarily so here tonight. Anything can happen. Dominique Dawes has newfound confidence from her silver medal in the all-around competition. She could win several medals here tonight. And Carrie Strug, she struggled a little bit last night, falling off the balance beam. She's two-time defending vault champion. She'll be hard to beat there. And in the individual event finals, much more so than in the all-around, you can have that major surprise. Someone we know very little about sneak in there and win a gold medal. All right, Tim. Well, there is at least one gymnast with a chance at history tonight and for more on that let's go down to the floor and join Hannah Storm. Well Dan that gymnast of course is Shannon Miller and I talked with her earlier today about her chances of sweeping all four golds here tonight. She says she thinks she can do it but she has to do one thing that sticker landings that's about the only thing she didn't do perfectly last night. I also talked with her coach Steve Nuno and he is a little bit more conservative about her chances. He thinks that Shannon's second vault could keep her from winning that event. They do have a more difficult vault that they could throw for a gold medal but he doesn't want to risk any injury to Shannon. Keep in mind she's already competing with a lower back sprain that's been bothering her since January. By the way, the vault is the first event that we have here tonight, so we should know early whether or not Shannon Miller will make history at this year's U.S. National Stand. All right, Hannah, thank you. And we are ready for the first of four events. Leading off the vault, Dominique Dawes and Tim, she really wants to try and further close the gap on Shannon Miller. Well, you know, she told us that confident and consistency are her keys. She's had both in this competition so far. Unlike the all-around, in the finals, you need two strong vaults, they average them together, and that's your winner. Well, that's a good start for Dominique, just the big step on the landing, but a very difficult vault. All right, feel the opening right on top. Yep. Now, what's different about this, usually we'll see the athlete, they'll leave the horse, and they'll do only a full twist. She does one and a half twists, and it's a blind landing, much more difficult. The only mistake here, now watch this, she'll be a little bit off to the side here. 
She should land exactly in the middle of the mat, so that should be a small deduction. And a score for Dominique Dahls, the first ball at 9.762. Good score for Dominique on her first vault. She'll do a totally different vault this time. Handspring pike front. Oh, way out of control on that landing right there. Two big steps. That'll Sky cost high. Him. Sky high. Just didn't open it on top. All right. Beautiful vault. Beautiful. She you see, Dan, many the of landing. these athletes, they don't practice these second vaults. They, in the all-around, only have to perform one vault. And so she really doesn't have the awareness she needs to know when to open up on this so she can stick the landing. Dominique Dawes really rising into the international ranks. A fourth place finish in the recent World Championships. And her score in the second vault at 9.40, so the total at 9.581. And you know, Dan, pretty generous score with all those steps for Dominique Dawes. At the top of the show, Tim, you mentioned some surprises. This is Kim Arnold, an alternate for this meet, a last minute addition. And a big injury just a little while back. Not very practiced on this vault. She yeah. handles it fine, though. <laughs> Coach Stormy Eaton tells me that she has performed that vault only five times in the last five months because of a injury to her hand. Basically a good vault, just a small hop on that landing right there. And the score for Kim Arnold at 9.487. Here's her second vault. And this is where she shines. She's real strong, second vault. Yeah. Great landing on the second vault there. Kim Arnold, 13th in the all-around competition. And Coach Stormy Eaton says he considers her the best vaulter in the country. Well, Dan, I don't know if I'd go that far, but what she has is power. And on this event, that is the most important thing. She also had two great landings on her vaults. And the score for Kim Arnold, the second ball at 9.625, the total at 9.556, second place still behind Dominique Dawes. And now we are ready to see the two-time national champion in this event, Kerry Strug, the only disciple left from Bella Caroli competing in this event. And there are a couple of gymnasts who worked under Bella Caroli. There's Kim Zemeskel, who won this national championship the last three years. New vault for Kerry Strug in this competition. Oh, and she handles it very well. Two nights in a row, great landing. Beautiful, beautiful, all right. Now, the thing that's critical about this vault, much more difficult than the standard vaults that many of the other athletes are using, she's landing forward. And what that means is it's a totally blind landing. Watch, she won't be able to see the ground until after her feet have hit the floor. Very difficult. Okay, hands in. Tim, any idea how those two judges will score it? <laughs> well, I think, yeah, it looks like, yeah, Kim's giving it the thumbs up there. Not bad, Kim Zemeskel says. And Kerry Strug's score on the first vault, excellent. The best score we've seen tonight, 9.850. But this one will tell the story, Dan. The second vault, I know that Kerry does not practice anywhere near as much as her first vault. Oh, a little bit, not quite enough rotation. You could see that one right from the start. She wasn't going to have enough flip to get that all the way around to her feet. You know, as I said earlier, speed and power are the key ingredients on vaulting, and she just doesn't flip her body fast enough right from the board to the horse, and there's nowhere near enough rotation. Feet slide out from underneath her. Of course, any time you sit down like that, it's a big deduction. Now watch, bent elbows on the horse, and she should just catapult off here. She's a little sluggish. And that's going to cost her a medal. Very disappointing for Kerry Strug after the first vault score of 9.85. The second vault and the total score. So the disappointing meet continues for Kerry Strug. Meanwhile, the moment has arrived for Shannon Miller, trying to become the first U.S. gymnast in history to win the all-around and sweep all the individual events. It begins here in the vault. Dominique Dawes leading the way almost by default. It has not been a good competition so far. Kerry Strug, the favorite, having difficulties. And here is Shannon Miller's first attempt at history.
Big hop on the landing. I've seen her do much better. That's why you over-rotated it. You gotta make sure that you get up on this fault here. Okay, you see what she did under rotating? Okay, I'm gonna put a mat in there for you too. Hands free front. Now watch uh, this. She's had list. problems the, the heels, entire okay? event up on the landing the of this. Landing. Of course, her okay. feet should just Let's stick to that mat, right. but there's a visible and very large hop. Score 9637. It is still in her range, but remember, Hannah said at the top of the show, she's going with an easier vault. She's gotta have a great landing. Another big step on the landing. This one is going to be very close. Good All right, good show now, right away. Different problem from Carrie Strug. She actually holds on to her rotation or her tuck a little bit too long and has to take that very large step forward. And I gotta tell you, it is gonna be really, really close. Technically, this vault done pretty darn well. But once again, you have to stick the landing. The score at 9.487, the total two one hundredths behind Dominique Dawes, who takes the first gold medal of the night. Shannon Miller's chance at history unsuccessful. The bars are coming up. Gymnastics Championships, presented by Reebok, who remind you that on Planet Reebok, there are no obstacles. And by Coca-Cola Classic, always the real thing, always Coca-Cola. Second event of the night, time for the uneven parallel bars. Another new face, Larissa Fontaine, sixth in the all-around competition. Really, Tim, considered a child prodigy years ago never really materialized to what people's expectations were, but I have to tell you, she is doing fabulous. She is an on-the-edge gymnast. We'll see it right from the start. Three releases in a row. Wow, that's awesome. Now, Dan, most other athletes would be finishing up at this point, but she's not done. Another release, a huge one. Watch this, this dismount, very unorthodox, and she did, wow, that was awesome. You know, this is the way that women's uneven bars should go. This is the trend of the future. You just saw it right there. She's taken some elements from the men's high bar event. I tell you, I don't think you'll see another routine with the power and excitement of that all night long. Watch, three releases in a row. This is incredible. There's her first one. As soon as she grabs, she goes right into the second one. She's not done. One more transition to the low bar. That is awesome. Injuries have slowed her career as a young gymnast, but this is the first injury-free year she's had in a long time. Oh, a my. 9.675, and that seems Dan, extremely low. To I can't believe it. I, I, I don't know what those judges are looking for. Maybe she doesn't have the recognition of some of the other athletes, but this is where women's uneven bars should be going. This, this is an outrage. Well, next up is Shannon Miller, who... Narrowly finished second in the vault to Dominique Dawes. See if I can get my composure back here. Get a hold of yourself Dan. here, Tim. Shannon's first release combination here. She'll do two in a row. Very nicely done, but maybe not quite the dynamic style that we just saw. This is a great exercise, but, you know, I may be harping on that, but that routine we saw from Larissa was just incredible. Big dismount though here. Wow, great landing from Shannon Miller. You know, that is what she does so well. She is so perfect. Very good stick. All right. Coach Nuno complimenting her. She has had problems all competition long with the landings, not on that one. And there is no doubting she has the name recognition. The crowd's ovation proves it there. You know, I mean, I'm not trying to play down Shannon Miller. She is an awesome athlete, and this is a fabulous bar routine. This dismount, a double laid out somersault, extremely difficult. And she does what she's supposed to do. She nails it absolutely flawlessly. It's a great exercise. 
And there's a guy who's been looking for the great sticks and landings from his gymnasts all week. And he enjoyed that one. Excellent routine by Shannon Miller. And the judges give it a 9.837. Well, <laughs> as we said before, it was a great routine. And now Dominique Dawes looking for another goal. She won the vault. Dominique, a silver medalist on this event at the recent World Championships. Her only release on bars. Nice pirouette sequence. She has only her dismount remaining. A full twisting double. Hop on the landing there. Now, if we are going to compare exercises, even though Dominique is a, a great bar worker, it is not in the same league as what we saw from Larissa Fontaine. Is it in the same league as Shannon Miller? Oh, certainly not. I don't, I don't believe so. Both of those athletes did multiple releases. Here is Dominique's only release of the exercise. It's high, but I think we need to see a little bit more in that area from her. She does a nice pirouette sequence here. But the trend of women's gymnastics, the trend of gymnastics is those high flying release elements. Tim, this is really getting it interesting. The two big names, Dominique Dawes and Shannon Miller. And there is the score for Dominique, the 9.787. Clearly better than Larissa Fontaine's score. <laughs> well, you're not going to get that opinion from this guy right here. I can assure you of that. All right, Kerry Strug needs a 9.838 to win this event. Well, yeah, she she's does capable? Have, she does have the ability to do this. Just a couple weeks ago, she defeated Shannon Miller at the Olympic Festival on this event. about in a bucket on the landing. Wow. Good routine. Good routine from Carrie Strug. Couple of releases and a great landing. Her coach Steve Duno says she trains and looks as good in practice as Shannon Miller, but sometimes just isn't able to put it together in the meets. You know, real nice to see her come back from that big disappointment of vault and do such a technically, basically perfect routine on the uneven bars. Formerly under Caroli, in the shadow of Zamescal there, now with Nuno, and in the shadow of Shannon Miller. You know, what this exercise has is just absolutely perfect technical execution. Toes, knees extended and tight, giving no tense whatsoever away to the judges at all. Her dismount sequence, a full twisting double somersault and boom, right in a bucket. She stuck that one cold. <laughs> Excellent routine for Kerry Strug, a 9.80, but not good enough. Her teammate Shannon Miller picks up her first gold of the evening. The balance beam is next. Welcome back, and we can see that high bar gold medalist Trent Demas has joined the auxiliary alumni scoring table. <laughs> as Shannon Miller gets ready to begin the beam competition. Now, Dan, she does one of the most difficult routines in the competition, and it starts right from the beginning. <laughs> oh, boy. Now, that is something <laughs> you don't see too often. But will she have a difficult time, too difficult a time, getting back into metal contention now that she's fallen? You know, the rest of the routine is so difficult, and she is so good on this apparatus that she could still sneak in there. Now, if you want to test mental character, 
Let's see right here. She'll do three layouts in a row. Perfect. I think she's fully recovered. Dismount remaining. Oh. Man. Great routine. Boy, you that can see that she is visibly disappointed even after coming back so strongly from the mount, which she was not able to hold on to. Easy gold medal routine right there without the fall. But is it a medal? Still could be right in there. You know, she really doesn't have quite enough rotation on this, and her shoulders just lean a little bit off to the left-hand side, and she's off the balance beam. Five-tenths of a point every time you fall from the apparatus. And that is a rare scene, Shannon Miller, off of any apparatus. The score at 9.362, so maybe she did get everything out of this routine, even after the mishap of the start would have been in a 9-8 plus range without that fall and opens up the door for a young lady named Dominique Dawes. She split the first two gold medals of the evening with Shannon Miller. Obviously a much more conservative and safe beginning for Dominique. But believe me, she has plenty of stuff jam-packed into this routine. Starts right here. She will also do three layouts in a row. Oh, oh, she only did two. Started with a flip-flop, then two layouts, and for some reason decided Maybe she was a little bit off balance and didn't go for it, but that will cost her. into this dismount, just like she's on the floor exercise. It's a good set, you had a good cover. Don't worry about it. Very clean, very smart. Very smart. You were smart. You think you can cook it? No, I think you got too nervous. Right, you knew the door was open and you got a little nervous, okay? It wasn't your normal set, but it was a very good, very smart set. Good. Coach Kelly Hill recognizing that, yes, she left out the major tumbling element. She knew the door was open. Yes, it was. Shannon Miller already fallen. The gold medal is up for grabs. And with that landing, it's going to be close. Dominique Dawes eyeing her second gold medal of the night. There is her score. It is better than Shannon Miller, but we'll have more beam after this. Earlier today at the Delta Center, we saw a 12-year-old from Houston, Texas, that just may be the star of the 1996 Atlanta Games. Her name is Jenny Thompson, and she won her first junior all-around title. Her coach, Steve Nuno, tells me that she could be the finest female gymnast ever to come out of the United States, and other coaches and gymnasts agree with him. They say that Jenny is the leader of a pack with personality that we just might see in 1996. These are the bright faces of the future. Emotions on full display, the joys and the disappointments. They are not yet seasoned veterans of competition. 
except perhaps for one who was always trained alongside Olympians. She is Jenny Thompson, and last year at the age of 10, she became the youngest event champion in history, winning gold on the floor exercise at the Nationals in Columbus. But her beam routine there showed something else about this tiny athlete. After failure, a mature composure for the judges, but off in a corner, the tears of a child. This year, Jenny's natural athleticism and poise was on full display. With the concentration of Shannon Miller and the powerful legs of Kim Zemeskel, she's an awesome performer. Myers is the serious one of the group, an Atlanta native determined to come home for the Olympic Games. She won a silver today. The bronze medalist is Sunny Maduna, the oldest and tallest of the group. The graceful Sunny is eligible for the Worlds next year, and the top three all with Steve Nuno. This is the brightest hope from Caroli's gym, and she will steal your heart. 11-year-old Dominique Musanu of Houston, Texas is a charmer. Donnie Thompson of Colorado Springs is just downright cute and a great athlete. Donnie is quick and powerful and expressive. What the circumstance, somehow, Donnie always seems to come up with a smile. Perhaps Kim Zmeskel could tell these youngsters of the pressures of Olympic expectation, but those will come soon enough. Time now to simply dream and to picture this for 96. Already a lot has happened in her young gymnastics life at age 12. You know, these junior gymnasts characteristically are the ones that go on to make that next Olympic team. Meanwhile, getting back to the completion of the beam competition, this is Amanda Borden, who's really had a disappointing meet so far. Remember, Dominique Dawes on top with the Shannon Miller fall from the balance beam. Now watch this element borrowed from men's pommel horse here. I love it when I can say that. That didn't happen to be your best event at a 10 by chance. Maybe a decade ago, but... Uh, you were the 86 national champion here. Not too long ago. Great start for Amanda Borden. First tumbling run. Very nice presence on the balance beam. Has had some problems in the past staying on the beam. She do a couple leaps right into a back dive to hand. She fought her way back up on top. Talk about tenacious. These athletes are so tough. Tim, you know she's in so much pain right now, but just will not let that show to the judges. Boy, strong finish after that problem. There's the pain that uh, was felt. I think we're trying to pull a Paul Hunter around the beam. But she does seem all right. When you're talking about balance beam, Dan, four inches wide, a little bit off is a little bit too much, as we'll see right here. Everything looks fine, but just, oh, just the slightest bit off to the side. You can hear the reaction from the crowd. They can see the replays above the Delta Center, and they can feel this almost as much as a man. I thought you were trying to 
but look at the tenacity. Scraping back up, crawling back up onto the balance beam. And she didn't fall off the beam, Tim, but what kind of a deduction is that? Well, Dan, that's at least a five-tenths of a point deduction. But the thing I'm so impressed with after that fall, being in pain, she basically goes through a flawless exercise after that point. And salvage is a 9.012. Maybe she should have got five-tenths added for guts. <laughs> And another new surprising face to this year's meet, Kelly Davis, her very first elite meet. She just turned 15 from Pompano Beach, Florida. Shocking not only herself, but her coaches with a seventh place finish in the all round. And this was probably the biggest shock of all, according to her coaches. Balance beam, not her strong point. She's a tumbler and a vaulter, according to coach Tim Rand. Seems if we're going to see any nerves from a newcomer, it would be on the beam, especially. You would see it here, certainly. The first tumbling sequence, flip flop to two layouts. A little bit ragged, but she stays on the beam. Dominique Dawes has the lead in this event. Shannon Miller fell on her mount, but is in second place. So there is room for Kelly Davis. Very impressed at how calm she appears for her first major competition, especially on the balance beam. Dismount double back. Boy, it is going to be close, I'll tell you. It is going to be real, real close. Uh, I said earlier that Shannon Miller would have had a gold medal performance if she hadn't fallen for sure. Uh, this was a good exercise, you know. It doesn't really knock your socks off, but she does have some technical errors and some form errors throughout. And we'll see those right here. Watch her knees during these layout step outs here. You notice they're a little bit bent and the feet are a little bit flexed, but she does the most important thing. She stays on the balance beam. She lives with her coaches, Tim and Tony Rand, and there is the score, 9.437. And that is good enough for second place in the balance beam for Kelly Davis. Her coaches likened this meet to a major league debut. And she put on a major league performance. Dominique Dawes takes the second goal of the evening, though, back with a final event in a moment. We welcome you back to the Delta Center. Dan Hicks along with Tim Daggett and Hannah Storm. The final event of the evening, the floor exercise, and another newcomer to this elite scene, Elizabeth Reed. And we watched her in warm-ups, Tim, and she is unique and elegant. Oh, yeah, right from the start, Dan, you will see something very, very different, and in my opinion, quite refreshing to see in the women's floor exercise. Let's watch.
departure from the usual floor exercise routines that you would see. Elizabeth Reed. You know, not the big, huge, powerful tumbling, but a totally different style reminiscent of maybe a rhythmic gymnast and very, very familiar to one of the all-time greats, Svetlana Boginskaya from the former Soviet Union. I think it was 9137. The choreography here, very similar. I asked her coach why, and I was told that the choreographer was the same one that was used by Boginskaya. And it seems to be a very good game plan, maximizes her strengths. And a score at 9.45 for the newcomer, Elizabeth Reed. And here is a familiar face. First look at Olympic team member, Michelle Campy. Disappointing competition so far. That's a tenth of a point deduction. Michelle Campy, one of the only gymnasts who I talked to this week, Tim Daggett, that says she will definitely point to 1996 in Atlanta, but she still does not have a medal. And now that she's completed her floor exercise. You know, it's been so frustrating watching Michelle this weekend because she looks so good. She does some really neat things, but she makes mistakes like that, stepping out of bounds. And then all of a sudden, she'll come back and she'll do something better than anybody else in the whole competition. This is at the end where she's supposed to be tired. And this is just awesome, triple full. And look at the height. A great finish, but as you said, Dan, a very disappointing competition for Michelle Campy. And as you can see, not happy with her score at all. Don't go away. We'll complete the floor exercise. Coming up, Shannon and Dominique. The U.S. Gymnastics Championships, presented by Reebok, who reminds you that on planet Reebok, there are no obstacles. Shannon Miller ready for the floor and aiming for his second gold medal of the night.
Shannon Miller, the poise of a champion after falling off the beam earlier in the night, completes her national championship right, on the floor. Job, uh, Wendy. But you know, there still Wendy, is that uh, shot. Yeah, she has yeah, really not closed shot. the door on right, Dominique. Right, right, right. She Good doesn't job. look all that happy to me. All right. Good job. Good. This is a new addition for Shannon Miller. Three whip back, shades of Kim Zemeskel. And watch this. She'll reverse direction going back, rebounds forward into a front somersault. And the score at 9.712. That is the best score so far. But as I said, Dan, certainly leaves the door open for this dynamo right here. Dominique, you see what she needs to pass Shannon Miller. to say at this point it is going to be very close the routine is so much better than yesterday first time we pass the problem but the routine itself is okay? the routine may have been better but was it good enough for the goal with the deduction you know boy oh boy what a transition we've seen in this young lady 1991 american cup she captivated all of us with tumbling moves like this tumbling backwards bounding forwards she has really matured into a fine all-around gymnast. This is her trademark. Just a little bit off balance and bounces right out of the area. That could cost her the gold. Tenth of point deduction, a 9.70. That is two one-hundredths behind Shannon Miller. So Miller remains in first place with her teammate Kerry Strunk set to go. going to be enough 
problems on both of her major tumbling passes in the landings. Shannon Miller, her teammate, had a 9.712. Dominique Dawes with a 9.70. Carrie Strug hoping for a medal in the score exercise. Well, this is where the biggest mistake occurred. Her second tumbling pass, she had these problems in the past. She would always land a little bit locked-legged and not absorb. She kind of just bounces her feet slide back. That, of course, is a couple tenths at least right there. Earlier in the night, Carrie Strug picked up the silver in the uneven bars and with a score of 9.60 in the floor exercise, picks up the bronze in this event. But the story of the night had Dominique Dawes not gone out of bounds in this event. She would have won three of the four golds tonight. She's on the floor with our Hannah Storm. Dominique, congratulations. Two gold medals tonight. You did so well last night, too. You were second all around. Did that give you confidence coming into tonight's competition? Yeah, being second off all around gave me a lot of motivation for today, and that was my number one goal yesterday, was to get a silver medal in the all around. You know, we talked before the competition how you've had trouble getting frustrated with yourself in the past, and you haven't been consistent. But you were really consistent for the two nights, uh, with the exception of that uh, double tumbling pass in the floor routine. How did you manage to do that? Um, I was in the touch. I was going a little crooked, and my punch front went off a little bit. And that tells me that I need a lot more work on that tumbling pass, so maybe get more difficulty. How did you manage to stay so consistent? Was it the hard work? A lot of hard work, but also my coach's motivation, Kelly and Edwards. All right. Now, what are your plans coming up? You told me that you're looking for a college scholarship, but what about Atlanta in 96? Do you have any thoughts of competing there? After this competition, it makes me want to look a lot further into Atlanta, but I'm not really sure right now. And number one on my goal list is a college scholarship. All right. Thanks a lot, Dominique, and uh, congratulations. You have a lot to be proud of. Shannon Miller didn't win a place in history tonight. Anything less than a clean sweep in the event finals would be considered a disappointment by some, but Shannon can take heart in her two golds tonight. Her all-around victory last night, and of course, she still is the number one gymnast in the world. But closing the gap is Dominique Dawes. She leaves Utah with two gold medals in the individual events in the world of confidence. Tonight, we also showed you a brief glimpse of the future. What does it hold? Well, we'll find out perhaps at the 96 games in Atlanta. Coming up tonight on NBC, Eyewitness Video is next, followed at 9 Eastern time by Guilty Until Proven Innocent. So for Tim Daggett and Hannah Storm, I'm Dan Hicks saying so long from the U.S. Gymnastics Championships in Salt Lake. The great masters define civilization in Europe. Now we're defining it on the way there. United to Europe. Come fly the airline that's uniting the world. Come fly the friendly skies. In a new world, a new standard of excellence, NBC Sports.